All right, so let's talk about setting up a routine for yourself. I heard from a few people last week that they were trying to set up a schedule that would work really well for them on the days that they're at home because they didn't feel as good on the days when they felt totally unstructured or like they were sleeping in too much or that sort of thing. Let's first talk about why it matters to have a routine. Um, you know, our Leelana day is really, really structured, and a lot of us kind of depend on that external structure to help us kind of navigate our day and fit in all of the things that we know that we need to stay happy and healthy and productive. The reason that it's important for us to establish routines is that as thinkers and learners, our brains are really wired to work better when we're in a routine. The reason that our brains work so well when we're in a routine is that the neurons that work together to help us perform a routine get connected by these neural pathways. And the more times that a person does kind of a repeated action or the same steps or the same time of day, the slipperier the surface of that pathway becomes using less energy to perform those same behaviors in the same order each time. It does take a lot of energy to initially create those neural pathways, but over time it takes almost no energy to sustain them. Think about how difficult it is when you first start to try to bring a new habit in, maybe going to the gym every day or trying to eat differently or wake up earlier. But then also think about how difficult it is to break a bad habit. Once those neural pathways are established, they really prefer to stay linked up and to stay in that routine. If you've ever noticed that you tend to wake up at the same time, whether or not your alarm goes off, that's a function of your neural pathways firing together. So that's the why. That's why I want you to think about having a structure for yourself. It really doesn't matter to me what time your routine or your structure starts. Um, here are some things that I, I do think are really important. First of all, I think it's really important for you to make sure that you're getting enough sleep. So having kind of a consistent bedtime and a consistent wake-up time, however that works best for you, I think is really important because getting enough sleep is so important for us, especially as a teenager, it's really important, and also just in a time when we're all working really hard to stay healthy, getting enough sleep is really critical. The second thing I want you to think about is eating on a consistent basis. I don't want you to be in a situation where you're waiting until you're so hungry that you just scarf all the snacks rather than um, making sure that, you know, as you're eating and preparing meals, that you are eating a healthy, balanced diet. If you're someone who takes supplements or um, has medication, that should be taken at a regular time. So that's another thing to think about maybe within your eating schedule that you are accomplishing in your structure. And then I also definitely want you to have time to relax and have time for mindfulness and to have time to move your body in a way that helps you feel like you have a lot of energy and that you feel really healthy. So in addition to the work time that you're trying to accomplish, this is really the benefit of the schedule so that you don't feel like you're running out of time or you know, kind of getting stuck doing just one thing and not making sure that you have time for everything you need to accomplish in a day. So when it comes time to create your structure, you're certainly welcome to use the example that I provided in the email. I've also provided a resource for you, and it's just this daily schedule. My students have probably seen this before, and it just accomplishes each day and all of the times throughout the day from 8 in the morning until 12 at night. I'm not expecting every hour of this to be structured, but I do want you to think about what the rhythm of your day looks like and how best you might carve out what each time is designated for. Here's a sample of my work schedule for this coming week. The squiggly lines are kind of the time that I've blocked off just to be with my family or hanging out at home. And the times that are highlighted are the times when I plan to be working. And I've left myself these blank openings so that I can kind of schedule in specific things that I need to get done, whether I have a phone call or a meeting or maybe something specific that I need to work on. If you want some help creating a schedule for yourself, your learning specialist would be more than happy to help you. You're also welcome to reach out to me if I'm not your learning specialist to help you come up with a schedule or maybe tweak one that's not working the way that you want it to. I hope you find these tips helpful.